Britain is closed on November 17th, 2022. We'll do our disclaimer first, go over our calls, and then make some predictions. It's my trading plan for the 18th of November, 2022. Remember, I can be wrong. Any trades you make should be at your own risk. And remember, I don't predict what happens overnight. So as an example of this, uh, we said unless we gap down smartly, we had a high, we looked for higher prices. Target was 39.74.79. We did gap down smartly, so as according to the rules, there was no call. This is just a reminder of what we said. Yesterday's pattern was the early low. Try that again. Yesterday's pattern was the early high. Today's pattern was the early low. And tomorrow's pattern should have the early high. Well, this is one of these places where you're going to rally or have a collapse. And let's go over the reasons why. Um, first of all, we get to cross an old target off the table. 39.13.56. But the target for today didn't print, so we have to add that one to the list. 39.74.79. During the day, we got an ultimate sell signal right at the top. That certainly worked. MJT said the wooden stick that we'd retrace to this line. We did it with a wall right at the end. So we stopped right at resistance. Remember, walls into the close. Don't have to gap down, but they often do. Well, this shows major trend line support at today's low. You connect this high and this high with today's low. You'll see the great hits. And so that should be major support. We've also stopped right at major resistance. Now, usually support holds. And if it doesn't hold, it breaks in grand style. So let's focus in on what happens here. Well, this isn't the only count, but it's the one I've been using. And it shows we stopped at a 50% retracement of the last drop. So again, we have good support here. We have support from the prior highs. Support could easily hold. There's even a count that says it holds. This could be wave one. This could be an A, B, C, and A. and C are pretty much equal. So there's a count that says we're in wave three up and it doesn't break any rules. There's always a catch. Let's remember, this is a wall with gap. It's an unstable pattern. And at some time that gap fills and there's support under the gap and that's way down in the middle 3700s. I mean, that's about 3750. Now here's another wall. Here's the, the gap. And there's support just under the low of the wall. And that support broke. So support, when it breaks, becomes resistance. So we have a break under resist, a break under support today. And today's high, for now at least, is resistance. Now it doesn't have to stay resistance. I mean, you can gap over and keep going up if that's the right count. And you need follow through. 
I mean, if we drop under this, you get follow through, and that just means this break of resistance, break of support, is the real thing, and this should hold. So if that's the possibility, you have to have a count that justifies it. Well, this is one of the other counts. And you'll see that we have an A, B, C con completing right here. Let's focus in on what's happened since. It's at least possible to count the rally as an ABC up. And what's worse is we now have a stilt and we have a diamond. Half a diamond is enough. Now the diamond on stilts pattern doesn't have to go to completion. We can go up from here. But if this broken support now resistance holds, and if we get up under this low, and I'm not saying we will, but if we do, you could have a still down with support 200 points under where we are now. That doesn't mean this is going to break, but so far you're banging up on resistance you have major, major trend lines here. If, and that's an if, you gap under this, you've broken major trend lines which have lasted years. You'll probably continue down with a stilt to complete the diamond on stilts pattern. Let's see what this does to the long-term picture if we gap under this. Well, we had a preferred target of about 29.78. And we were looking at this as being A and this as being B on the preferred count. But the count we just showed has this as A. If that's A and that's B, C is 78.6% right at the target. So if the alternate count is the right count, and if this holds, we could have a huge drop in the wave C down to our target, 29.78. Doesn't mean it's the only way to do it, But it does mean tomorrow's open is critical. You really want to show that this break of support was a fluke and continue up. Because if you don't get follow through, it doesn't mean anything. I mean, if we gap up tomorrow, this break doesn't mean a thing. But if we gap under that, the bottom can, could easily fall out. Signals are mixed. Friday's pattern has a really high. We could still get down. At the close of Wednesday's trade, we had a pattern I interpreted as a bullish pattern. We gapped down sharply, so there was no call. That being said, when a pattern fails, it tends to fail big. One could argue that's already happened, but because the signals are mixed, it certainly isn't a lock. It's bullish. We gapped down, hit a lower low, and closed over intraday lows. In addition, we pounced off a trend line, actually two trend lines. Unless we gap under them tomorrow, a break under those lines shouldn't stick. But as Bear said, today's rally stopped right at the resistance of the prior lows. Strong resistance. So far, at least, all we've done is back and fill a gap down from a pattern which should have reversed up. Worse still, we've now closed under the lows of the day's long consolidation. There is a count which justifies an advance from here, but it really should start soon after the open if it's going to work. I mean, if we gap up, 
tomorrow, this break of support doesn't count. And ideally, if it's a false break, that's what should happen. However, if we were to gap under today's low, and I'm not saying we will, but if we do, it's a major break of support. It should lead to a mini crash or even more than that. We don't have to break. We don't have to gap under the slope. But if we do, you're in a mini crash scenario, maybe even a crash scenario. So if you're a bull, let's hope we gap up tomorrow. And if we do gap under this, the bottom could easily fall out. Tomorrow's pattern is the early high. The open should be telling, and that's today's call.